Hello, I'm RG. Welcome to Grassroots Comics and Collectible Business Show number six. I have lots of comics. As I've said in pre previous shows, I have a lot of comics. A box of them that I got in of Golden Age and Silver Age, and I always have stuff coming in. Spider-Man. It's a reprint, but it's uh, the number four when he fights Sandman. Okay. There's another comic here that we're going to have. Metamorphose, the Element Man. This is number four. It's a good Silver Age, Silver Age issue. It's in fair condition. Yeah, it's doing real good. I would read them off, but that would take a great deal of time up. But all of these here have been graded already. And here's X-Men. This is number 33. I consider myself a professional when it comes to comic books because I've been dealing with them a very long time. Here we go, this is Superman Comics. Each one of these you see will be going on auction on Grassroots Comics and Collectibles. Okay. I have lots of comic books here. I'm going to try to pile through them as soon as I can. As quick as I can. Fear, the Haunt of Fear. This is number seven. Yeah, comic book market prices, books for comic books versus the auction sale is entirely two different deals. People, buyers, collectors, dealers, sellers, anybody buying on eBay or any type of website, and it's on an auction. They're they're, they're given what they perceive what they would pay for. It. Not so much value by a price book. A price book is just an average uh, uh, start sale if the book is in this condition. But when you got subjective uh, grades, and grades cannot apply from book to book to book to book, being actually the same, they giving you, the people who's giving you that uh, giving you that market price is telling you. The, if the book was in this condition or this condition, then yes, this is what we would sell it for. Here is Daredevil 34. Okay, Doom Patrol. Here's some pages of Dr. Fate. That's from more fun comics. A very hard issue to obtain. I also like to talk about comic book page count and from Silver Age to Golden Age. Here is Airboy Comics. I like the cover of this comic book. This comic book is really not that popular, but it has really good artwork. I like that book, you know, for the artwork itself. You know, here's uh, the Avengers. I'll be all these you see here will be on going out on the auction first. This is another Golden Age Superman. Some pages from that. I have police comics. There we go there. And I have another Superman. A lot of Superman comic books are going to be coming from my market, along with Batman. Along with Batman. And there is Captain America, Timely Comics. Those are coming too. As I was saying about the page count, a lot of people think that since the books, since most comic books are um, golden age, that they should have 64 pages or 52 pages. They could be, they are wrong in this projection. They don't understand that when the market at that time making these type of books, it wasn't always a great sale. Sometimes books made more money, sometimes they made less. And the page count during that time, because of the war effort, changed. They changed radically after 1943. Uh, uh, they started changing quite radically. They went from a 64 page count down to 60 pages, down to uh, 50, 50, 52, even 44. And then eventually, between the, uh, the dates of 1951 and 1955, they started making pay, uh, uh, what is known as, it became standard in 1655, Silver Age uh, count, page count, which is 36. 
I had a buyer tell me, and, he, and it's listed right in front of him, uh, page count, 60. He tells me a page is missing. If you are a collector and you have no clue what how many pages a book should have, then read the damn thing and see if everything is there. If there is a part of the story missing, that is what you complain about. Don't say a page is missing. And then you come to find out that the cover is also counted as a page. I had a buyer once tell me, um, oh, there's some pages missing. And they counted page per page like this here. They're forgetting that every side is counted as a page. Not just like this here. That's, oh, that's one page. There's several pages, but there's only eight pages here. No, there's 16. You have to count each side. This is the uh, stupidity of some collectors. Here is Captain America. This is an old timely comic. We'll be going on sale on auction on my grassroots comics and collectibles. Here's another book. I have to open it up so you can see it. comic books, the most golden, and this is a golden age here, and this golden age is not that thick, as you can see, it's very thin, this is a golden age, 1946, here's a prime example about what I'm talking about, page count, now you probably think this book should have 52 pages, maybe 60, it has 36, for those collectors out there that are confused, uh, take note, not all golden age books, not all Golden Age books have 64 page count. Not all of them have a 52 page count. A lot of them vary from 60 to 44 page count. If you don't believe me, start counting your pages. You know, don't email me telling me that a page count has been a page is missing if your dumb ass haven't even counted the pages you, yourself. I usually block people who don't know shit about comic books. I don't want nothing to do with it. Now here is Green Mass. It's a thick book. There's Green Mass. This book here is pretty thick. And that's a prime example here too. This book here has, I haven't counted the pages, but I'm pretty much guessing it's between uh, 52 and 65 pages. Some of the pages in Golden Age even had like a 70 page count. Some of them had a hundred when they had a, what they called a, a, a special book that went over a hundred pages. But that's the difference. Most people, most collectors, I'm a professional. I know about comic books. I deal with a lot of collectors who don't have a clue, who have not a clue, you know. And they, it's, uh, it's less than pleasurable to deal with them. Trust me, because they, they act like an egghead. Here's a nice book. Here's another Golden Age, real thin. Can gu guarantee you that page is probably no more than 36 pages. But I can guarantee you also there'll be somebody who will swear up and down that he should have 60 pages. No, it has a page count. I don't use the notes of missing pages. I use page count because I'm selling a comic book and I count the pages. I stop saying pages are missing because unless you read the story entirely and understand it that if it's something unless something is there from the story that is naturally missing and you can tell then I missed it. But if it cannot be noticed, like some stories end without even having a the end. They just end. You don't even know that. Is that the end of the book or what? I've, I've read many comic books have no idea if it actually ended. But yet the book doesn't seem to be destroyed or being torn or anything. I'm like, this doesn't seem right. That's because that's the way the art was at that time. And most and a lot of collectors are confused in this area too. Here's another book. Some another book here. Here we go. All the books I'm showing you right here will be on auction. On my eBay site, on my all the books I'm showing you here will be on auction on grassroots comics and collectibles. Go to the eBay, and that is my ID, grassroots comics and collectibles. I have a lot of comics here. I won't be able to get through all of them, but there is a lot of them. As you see, there's a big stack here. And I will be, I will be selling. I will be selling them. All of them. I like to 
show you the ones that you can see clearly without taking the tape off of you. That way I can get right on down through there. Smash comment, that's a good comment book. If somebody should want that one, that's number two. Somebody should want that one, that's another question. I have lots of comments here. I'm telling you, it's just a load of them. There we go. And if you, I'm probably one of the better sellers on eBay because I don't charge a lot for shipping. I charge a, a minimum uh, price for shipping and I don't charge very much for act for uh, combined shipping. My, my only concern is that people, collectors, I wish the collectors that are out there, that know who they are, don't abuse, don't abuse me in this area. I don't want to punish the whole core of, of collectors for a few people because I'm not like that. I'd rather tell you up front, don't abuse it. If you see me take a break and I'm not selling any comics, then let's settle up on our debt. You know, be business. It's about business, not about being cheap and trying to get over. If you're doing that, I'll, I will sincerely block you and you will never do business with me again, as long as I can have anything to do with it. Here's a Batman comic book, so let's not abuse the, the cheap shipping. I'll wait as long as I'm selling more comic books right after another, each one after another. I'll wait for you to pay. If I take a break, that might be two weeks, it might be a month, I don't know how long it is. Settle up your business. Be business, be a business person and settle up your account. Good shape. Now, all these comics here, I, like I said, I got a lot of them right here. I like to show a lot of them, but we don't have a lot of time. But go to my auction site. My ID is called Grassroots Comics and Collectibles, and it's on eBay, and you can see a lot of stuff that I have for sale in there. And I will be selling comic books for at least two or three weeks at a time. I usually take a break, and if I take a break, please settle up your account. You know, I might go, if the market is real good and it's continuous, I might go 30 days. You know, I usually stop around after 30 days for a little while, and it depends. It all depends. But uh, I like to, I like people to settle up your accounts. Once again, here's Captain America, old timely comics. Be sure to go to the auction site and grab this comic. Somebody probably wants this one. And I'm, I'm thinking it may not even go past, at best, $90. Most of the Captain America comic books are overpriced from the start. Don't even get me wrong about it. If you go to the site now and you see a lot of them, trust me, they're overpriced. If you see a $250 comic book and it's still living there for months, you know why? It's overpriced. So that's why I know this book here probably will make, at auction site, $90. Hey, that's all I got for Grassroots Comics and Collectibles Business Show. Number six, come back again, and I'll have another one for you. I'll have number seven. I hope to have some more old, timely comics to go on sale and to show you, and hopefully if I can, have them great. But until then, have a nice one.